Um, hello everyone, my name is Hong Jian Li and I am a PhD student from Hong Kong Baptist University. Um, today, my topic is the world explained for harm forming detection through multimodal debate between large <laughs> language models. There are four main points I'd like to discuss. Um, let's start by the introduction. Um, the age of social media is flooded with internet memes, necessitating a clear grasp of harmful ones. Uh, generally, understanding memes poses a significant challenge due to its implicit meaning that is not explicitly conveyed through the surface text and image. Um, uh, providing explanations for why a particular meme is deemed harmful is crucial to the content moderation process on social media as both moderators and uh, users may want to comprehend the harmful content behind a flagged meme. Nevertheless, um, a comprehensive explanation, explanation requires a deep understanding of the common sense and the cultural context. A uh, case in point is uh, to illustrate um, the harmfulness of the meme in the figure. One human tracker may need the societal cultural knowledge that um, the man holding a vaccine gun uh, represent, represents a Bill Gates from Microsoft, uh, who is often the target of uh, anti-vaccination campaigners' memes due to his promotion to uh, vaccine development. And also should know that the control all delete key combination makes reference to the uh, mandatory reboot function in Microsoft Windows, uh, satirizing the uh, vaccine injection when combating the virus. Um, in contrast, uh, conventional detection models lack such uh, nat natural sentences with multimodal reasoning chains. Uh, sorry. Um, hindering their ability to provide informative explanations for harmfulness prediction. Um, they, only, uh, they only capture harm, uh, superficial harmfulness pattern uh, for end-to-end -end classification in a black box manner, which often um, overlook or oversimplify the supportive basis to um, uh, to provide uh, to explain the final harmfulness uh, prediction. So uh, we contend that the challenge lies in um, delivering um, clear explanations uh, in uh, that consistently assist in deciphering the concealed semantics with the multimodal nature of memes. Um, in this paper, we consider the following uh, three key principles in the design of our approach. Uh, firstly, to capture the implicit meanings of memes, we um, leverage the rich knowledge embedded in large language models. Um, secondly, um, as the knowledge directly elicited from the large language models uh, may um, expect variation and bias, um, we resort to a core and uh, fundament fundamental uh, elements of human problem solving uh, debate to uh, facilitate complex reasoning for better detection and uh, explain explainability. Thirdly, the semantic interaction between memes and harmfulness rationales um, could also serve to augment multimodal future representation and thereby fostering a deeper contextual understanding of the model in the context of uh, harmfulness inference. Now turning to our proposed methodology. Uh, given a meme, the test aims to detect it as harmful or not. In this paper, we propose an explainable approach to detect harmful memes um, achieved through reasoning over conflicting rationales um, on both harmlessness and uh, harmfulness positions. Um, specifically, inspired by the powerful complexity of large language models on text generation and reasoning, we first elicit a uh, multimodal debate between large language models to generate a rationale uh, from contradictory arguments. And uh, then we propose to fine tune a smaller language model as the debate judge for harmfulness inference to facilitate multimodal fusion between um, harmfulness rationales and the 
and and the uh, intrinsic in, in, in intrinsic multi modal information present in memes. Okay, so uh, we first conduct the abductive reasoning in the multi modal debate between large language models. Actually, th actually, there are two potential levels, uh, like uh, harmless and harmful. Uh, let me illustrate this by uh, the rational generation on the harmful position, which regards the potential uh, level like harmful as a part of the observed attri attributes of the uh, of the textual prompt. Like we uh, ask the large language model to explicitly explain how the meme is written as harmful. And uh, it will give a rationale towards the uh, the fixed direction, and the same goes for the harm harmlessness. In this way, and um, the rich, uh, in this way, the rich contextual background knowledge could be activated to generate a rationale for supporting the argument that uh, intends to promote the potential level. Um, separately in each debate. Okay, uh, then the debates uh, on both the harmlessness and harmfulness arguments could be generated. Uh, thus, the contextual nonsense of memes um, that contribute to um, respective ca candidates' um, categories um, could be better presented and uh, contrasted. So that the true harmfulness will be reviewed and reasoned uh, by the rest of the model um, from dialectical views. Now le let's consider the multimodal judge with a uh, large language model. In this stage, we exploit the com competing arguments from the multimodal debate to provide a uh, dialectical reasoning chance for a large language model judge with emergent abilities enabling it to um, decide whether memes are harmful or no not. Uh, thus, we fit the conflicting uh, rationales as reasoning steps into the large language model judge for in, uh, to infer the predict predicted uh, harmfulness level. Okay, naturally, as the inference of the large language model judge still could be um, unre unreliable due to um, its inherent limitations of large language models, um, we propose to fine tune a, a small language, smaller la language model judge that classifies memes as uh, harmful or harmless uh, by leveraging the rationales derived from the contradictory harmfulness arguments as the prior knowledge. For the text, in uh, for the text encoding, a naive solution is to uh, concatenate the uh, text feature, text input feature, and the competing rationales in a fixed order. And um, another Another alternative is uh, to place the one rationale that um, the large language model judge deems more reasonable uh, in front of the, the other one. And for the image encoding, we use a frozen vision transformer, and then a cross attention mechanism is exploited uh, to, uh, for multimodal vision. This design strives to facilitate multimodal interactions, allowing the um, rationales um, str uh, derived from the large language model debaters to effectively synergize with the um, with the intrinsic multimodal okay, multimodal uh, information uh, present in memes. Okay, that's the general picture for our methodology. Now let's look at the experiments and the results. Um, extensive experiments on three public meme detectors demonstrate that our approach achieves much better uh, performance than state of the art um, baselines. And we also um, have done ablation studies by removing uh, components in our proposed framework, and also we're adding different paradigms on existing large language models to uh, show its effectiveness of our component components. 
Okay, we also, uh, because uh, this is an explainable approach, so uh, we also have provided the evaluation of the explanation quality from both uh, GPT-4 and the human subjects, as well as uh, case studies uh, to show that our framework could exhibit a superior cap capacity for ex explaining the mean harmfulness uh, of model predictions. Okay, uh, to sum up, here, here are some uh, takeaway notes for the conclusion and contribution of our work. Uh, we study a uh, harm, harmful meme detection from a fresh perspective on explainability regarding harmfulness and harm harmlessness in natural texts. Uh, and we enhance harmful detection through uh, multimodal debates and our approach framework is evaluated on three main uh, benchmarks which demonstrate its effectiveness. Okay, uh, thank you for listening. Uh,